Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video on the channel. It's your boy Overkill Gaming, and today we are going to be taking a look at the new diamond weapons in Roblox Islands, and seeing if you know are they worth buying or not, or not buying but crafting. They do take a extremely long time to craft if you don't buy any of the diamonds, because these two the weapons need eighty. Or, you know what, let's just go ahead and we'll take a look at these crafting recipes because they take quite a bit of, of stuff. The axe takes 5 gilded steel rods and 50 diamonds. The pickaxe, the same thing. The hammer takes 80 diamonds, 5 gilded steel rods, and 10 enchanted diamonds. And the sword takes the same thing. Now guys, this means that they are very uh, expensive at the moment. I bought mine like the first day the update came out for around 15 million each. Uh, so that means 60 million just from these. Uh, so yeah, it is actually quite a bit. Uh, you don't really want that. You don't really want to spend all that coins and then them not be worth it or grind like 100 hours for them all. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. First, we will start with the diamond pickaxe. So, let's just try out on iron, which is the main thing I AFK farm uh, to get, like, to get levels. Uh, it breaks it pretty much instantly. I'm just holding down here. And same thing with stone. It breaks it like nothing. Uh, let's try out iron. Two tap. Okay, that is a huge difference. Let's try it out against the uh, gilded steel pickaxe. Which is also a two tap, but what is it on uh, stone? It's a three tap, and this is a two tap. Okay, that is definitely really interesting. Uh, we're gonna go to the mines now, and we will see if uh, we'll see if the pickaxe is better on gold or like all that stuff. Okay, so we've got a gold spawn right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's interesting, and now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's a one tap difference, but that is probably going to add up quite a bit over time, uh, especially whenever you're in like a hurry to mine stuff and are just trying to grind as fast as you can. So that is uh, definitely interesting. Uh, compared to the Gilded Steel Pickaxe, the Diamond Pickaxe is slightly better. Uh, I wouldn't say it is worth the amount of coins it is at the moment. I would say wait a couple weeks till price goes down. Gilded Steel Pickaxe is perfectly fine. You don't need the Diamond Pickaxe, but if you have a ton of coins, it's a really, it is a really cool uh, weapon just to have. Or not weapon, but really cool pickaxe just to have. It di mines diamonds really fast. And now let's move on to the diamond sword. Alright guys, we're up here at the wizard area and we're going to test the rage blade. It does 29 damage, but it does actually hit twice if you have the auto clicker going. I'll show you how that works here in a second once this thing respawns. You see it does do twice and it has a critical hit of 35. So let's try this thing out. It hits for 44, but only once per swing. The critical hit of 54 uh, so it is better than the rage blade you could say uh, only the thing we've got uh, decide here is is it uh, good enough to justify getting an entire new weapon and I would say probably not this weapon it's not good I I have a really high light melee level too, and I don't think it is quite good enough to justify uh, so much uh, coins worth of items, right? Like if we look here, I've got level 82 melee, and I don't think it justifies needing to get this over the Rage Blade. Uh, the Rage Blade does the job uh, quick and efficiently, especially after it gets revved up. Uh, but the if you have the coins. The diamond sword is definitely the better weapon to have. Uh, just not, just not worth it compared to the rage blade at the moment. If prices drop down and and the diamond sword gets down to like below a million, then yeah, it'll probably be worth it. But for now, it is not worth it. All right, next up is the diamond warhammer. 
Uh, now we will try it out against the other hammer, of course, just like we've done with the rest of the weapons. So let's try the diamond hammer out first. It does 41 damage, which is actually slightly less than the other thing. And it appears, I think it hit twice in one go. Let's try that. No, it only hits once per swing, but it does do quite a bit of damage, actually. This weapon uh, is doing almost as much damage as the sword, and my heavy melee is only level 47. So it uh, is better than the sword if you have base stats. I don't have base stats, which is why it's not better, but it's actually really uh, good for what it is. I, I would say this is probably better than the sword, unless you just have a really high light melee level like I do, uh, because like I have a pretty low light melee level compared to other people uh, and compared to my normal combat level. So it is, it is definitely a uh, good weapon with its base stats, but it's harder to level up the hammers or the heavy melee because all the other heavy melees kind of suck, not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, so let's try it out again with the gilded steel hammer and see how that works 46 on the critical and 34 on the normal Or maybe it's just doing 46 hang on No, I did a 35 in there. So yeah, it definitely uh, The diamond war hammer is worth it. I would say compared to the gilded steel hammer not sure what price the war hammer is gonna drop down to it might drop down to like 1.1 million the gilded steel hammer used to sell at before the wipes but we'll just have to wait and see see where it, what the economy does as more people get uh, millions of coins so guys the next weapon is what we're going to test on our own home area it is the diamond axe and we will of course be testing it against the uh, gilded steel axe one of the more valuable things in the game so yeah let's go right over to my tree farm and we'll test it out so we're gonna try it out against normal and hickory which are the least and the most like uh hit hit things okay so this one took one to kill this one takes two okay so that's definitely a slight upgrade and then let's come up here one two three four five six seven and then we'll test this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay that is a lot that is a huge difference and so look how long it takes to chop it just holding okay it took it took a bit and now look at this it takes like half the time okay yeah so the diamond axe is definitely worth it compared to the gilded steel axe especially since it is one of the more like one of the easier uh of the diamond weapons to craft i would say go ahead and buy the axe and the hammer and then just wait for the prices to drop on the diamond sword and the diamond pickaxe because they will drop as people realize they aren't worth how much they're selling for and yeah guys i'm gonna wrap up the video there i hope this was helpful hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all next time adios michachalatos